Katrina. I'm Gina. I'm Christina. And, and we're, we're the Gorgeous Geeks. Geeks. And um, I was so oh excited to see this movie. It, it was supposed to be epic. The best film of um, the year. I thought it would be the best film of because the year. Because it was based off one of the greatest cartoons of all time. Yeah. So. Um, and I was a big M. Night Shyamalan fan. But, um... It, it sucked. Oh my gosh. It was, it's just that my expectations were so they were, high. They were here. They were so they were high. Here. And then I just got even like in Even the with the controversy of everything that came out prior, like with the changing of the races and the race bending and everybody mad and, mm -hmm. and wondering could M. Night pull it off because he hasn't really worked with special effects. He hasn't really worked with fighting and just something of that magnitude really before. So, um... But I started seeing previews, and I'm like, well, you know what? I'm going to go in here with a completely open mind. Because the previews, previews look, look great. Awesome. Yeah, they did. And I'm just thinking, I hope it's not like a, a Harry Potter film when it's look, it looks more epic than it actually is. Or at least the feel of it, anyway, when you're actually watching the film. So, mm -hmm. um, it was not good. And um, people I, say maybe you're being too picky from the adaptation. No. As a film, as a film standing yeah. alone by itself. It would just... It is not. Like I said, like I'm a huge, I'm a huge M Night Shyamalan fan. I mean, there's no way I would have watched that and it would have been like, oh, this is an M Night Shyamalan film because it wasn't directed. nothing like any of his other stuff. How he directed it, and it, it was, it was, it was too fast. There was, was no character rushed. development. It was so which rushed. is shocking because he always does a good job of just. He always takes his time. He takes his time. He didn't do that with the film. This film was only an hour and a half long, which shocked me mm -hmm. because a lot of the. Okay, I mean, you're fitting like 20 or 20 plus episodes into one film, so you th I thought for sure it'd be two hours, maybe a little bit over. And I'm like, it's, it's, it's not just the episodes; it's just that the ca the characters yeah. are so complex. You know, like Avatar. I remember watching; I was really surprised at this that Nickelodeon was doing this cartoon because, in some sense, it was quite dark. Yeah, especially yeah. when it got to the end. More like season three. Yeah. First, first started watching. I'm like, okay, these things are going by really fast. I'm like, oh, that's really going fast. It's pacing as well. I'm like, okay, well, you know, it's a kids movie. Cause you know, sometimes a kids movie is, you know, kind of like that. And so then, it, but I kept trying to make kind of excuses for it. But then it just got, it didn't get yeah, better. And, and then not like I was at one point, I think I was just sitting like this through like, <laughs> like <laughs> after it. We were steaming. I could feel while. the steam coming from you. I was like trying not to like to really say anything. I mean, we didn't go in there with harsh opinions. Like I really, really wanted this I movie wanted to be great. Be I really did. Because I'm sorry, I'm not a fan of the Twilight series. You can hate me if you want, but I'm just not a fan. Twilight peed on this. That's how bad it was. And I wanted it. I, I did. I wanted Airbender because I do not like Twilight. I wanted Airbender to wax Twilight. And it was. I just, hope it doesn't even make its budget. <laughs> like, I hope. I am so like I I I, I was watching it. All I could think of. Brian Singer would have directed this movie Mark better. Matthew Vaughn, uh, uh, Sam, Sam Raimi would have directed this movie better. And I'm just, I'm just Shoot, thinking. Shoot, I like to see Michael Bay or Ridley Scott. <laughs> <laughs> Watch the oh, water Ridley explode Scott. into like a fire. <laughs> oh, a car will flip out of nowhere. <laughs> like Michael what, Bay. Why is I'm on fire? <laughs> Why are all the elements forming a transformer? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, but but okay, I understand that there was a lot to really go through, and you couldn't have everything like the film, like right. the TV show. Exactly. I understand it. But but the things that they changed, none of it made any sense. You know, what? as far as the plot, as as far as the benefit you of the can't. plot, nothing changed except one thing. They said the comet that's supposed to come, they said it would take three years and that's the only thing that made sense because it's a film and they obviously can't do it all by the summer, by the end of the summer, right. especially since kids grow up really fast. That was the only thing. That was the only thing. Everything else was like stupid. But, but like, it, like it, it, the, it the, biggest, the biggest thing, like one of the biggest things was the firebenders cannot like make their own fire and they're waiting for the comet so everyone can make their own fire. When the cartoon they could make their own fire. It, like it doesn't make any sense to me how these nation, these fire nation can just go into something like the earth kingdom where there's dirt all around them. Oh my all gosh. these rocks. And they could just smash them and all you gotta do is put out their flames. Like if I knew the Fire Nation was coming, I oh just put all the fires out. Well right. I mean of course they bring their own fire, but I, I, you have if you're a waterbender This is one thing I don't understand. <laughs> this is one 
thing I don't, I didn't understand this. What, what, but I'm the, it's a spoiler. This is a spoiler. So, if you haven't seen the movie, then you shouldn't watch this. But the thing that bugged me was that when they went to go rescue the people out of the earth, you know, out of the earth kingdom tribe thing, whatever, and they had put these people in prisons because not metal prison, not metal, but it was like, um, dirt. They were like in a valley. They were like in, in a valley. It's this mountains. dirt all around. Like, like if I was like in, I, I remember watching the episode of of the Earth, you know, of, of Avatar, and then like the one Earthbender girl that was blind. I can't Tough. remember her name. Okay, she like stomped her foot and the ground opened up. If I was an Earthbender, I would just open up the ground and cover it back up. Yeah, it did. It didn't make any sense. And then the kid Noah uh, Ringer, I think is his name, who played, and he just delivered this terrible speech, like. I was. It was painful for me to watch. I'm like, I hope this kid gets better. I hope this. But he just never did. I. I and really, I, I. All the acting. I like. I didn't like anybody really except. I. I, I like the uncle. The uncle was good. Who played Uncle Iroh, and the kid who played Zuko, um, from Slumdog Millionaire. Is he was, it? He. He was, I, he, he was decent. I felt he tried he really, really, tried. really hard, I mean, but he, he didn't quite get there for me. But Aang was like terrible. Sokka didn't terrible. crack one joke. Sokka didn't crack any not jokes. Not one joke. His love scene between Princess Yue might as well not have been in there. It was so minuscule and pathetic. <laughs> when she died, he did, they didn't even give him time to grieve. And, and Katara, who's like this motherly tight, uh, she's kind of useless. And I mean, by the time of the end of the first book, she can basically water been better than Aang and she has to be his master and she didn't like do anything really yeah. and then the worst thing about Aang was he's such this happy fun loving child yeah he's cute it's just kind of like he, he just these goofy things he's 11 year old right right yeah. but he was like so serious he was passive he was afraid he couldn't pick up water bending right because I don't know, he didn't want to hurt anybody, and then the spirit told him he's not supposed to hurt anybody. Well, that's just not true. Mm -hmm. I mean, the show's about this kid who has to save the world. It's a war. It's a war all across the world. Mm -hmm. I don't understand why he, why he felt he had to change the story so much from the cartoon. I can't believe... Now, I, it's, I, it's not just us being picky, because these things he did hurts the plot. Like right. they said, Aang has to learn, in the movie, Aang has to learn the elements in a certain order. That's really inconvenient and malarkey. <laughs> right. Cause because he learned firebending in the first season and he actually burned guitar and then he had a fear of firebending, which I think would have worked better by the time he was supposed to firebend in the third season. And then Katar ended up learning that she could heal, which she didn't do with the film. Yeah. Fire up Lord Ozai. Okay. He's now, been in a lot of movies. But you don't think he was a villain. He but you know what it's it's weird because like all these the people he just that bored. he got, he's like, I rule this kingdom. What's going on? I, I just believe that all these <laughs> actors are really good actors, but I don't believe they were directed well. I don't believe that they. M Night did scenes. not. I, I don't think he pulled he just, the emotion he really, out of. He really there dropped was the ball. no emotion. He really, really dropped the ball. Everyone was just artificial. I liked him more. There was no heart and soul to this movie. He at all. showed the, the the father that was he he showed more heart and live free and die hard. My least favorite character was um, General or Admiral Zhao, which was just terrible in the movie. Zhao is like this hardcore, arrogant dude. If you ever seen the Patriot, the bad guy who well, killed, Mel Gibson. Who, who Patriot, killed Mel um, Gibson. Heath Ledger, Ledger. He, he is like the inspiration for the character when they, when they made the film, um, the cartoon. And he's at Isaac, um, Jason Isaac is his name. He's actually the voice actor. They might as well just got him, give him heavy sideburns. At least he would have sounded like him, looked more like yeah. General Zhao than the guys they had planned. Yeah. And then he would have did it correctly. Because this guy, he was more he, like a coward. He was a punk. He was a, he just was. a sibling, conniving he was. dude. I, it's like, you know, well, I always had a problem with reboots, but I, I really want them to like reboot the whole thing or, or just get a different, I don't know, but they gotta, Nickelodeon has got to fix this, cause that was just, it was just sad. I just, I just can't, I want to see an interview or something with M. Night Shyamalan, and I want him to explain what the heck happened. 